Trying to create a tropical ambience? It's all in the lighting. These ceramic lights celebrate the natural beauty of bamboo and set the mood. Making the ceramic casing starts with a slurry of clay and water known as slip. A propeller mixer evenly distributes the particles. It flows through a hose and into plaster molds. The artisan controls the amount going in, ensuring that each one is filled just below the brim. Over three hours, the clay thickens and congeals along the edges. After pouring out the remaining slip, he trims the clay casting, which has a putty-like consistency. After leaving it to solidify a bit more, he carefully disassembles the mold, revealing the clay casting with the bamboo-like detail. During an overnight cure, the casting further solidifies and the color lightens. Using a knife, he adds more definition to some of the detail and cleans up the rough edges. He also shaves off protrusions formed where the mold parts came together. He lightly sands the entire bamboo ceramic casting to smooth any remaining imperfections. Using a wet sea sponge, he washes the entire casting. This softens the clay on the surface and gets rid of any minute scratches left by the sanding. He then cuts holes in the back of the casting. One is for installing the light socket and the other is to run wires to the electrical junction box. With the clay surface still moist, he carves nodes or joints in the bamboo canes. He also cuts wide vertical lines to create the effect of cracks that occur in bamboo naturally during drying. After firing the clay casting in a kiln and then cooling it overnight, it has become a strong, durable piece of ceramic. This craftsperson examines it for imperfections and then begins the painting process. She sprays a very light yellow paint onto the bamboo ceramic. It gives the piece just a hint of color, but it provides the desired undertone. Next, she mixes a green oil paint with thinner and then brushes it into the grooves and notches. This accentuates these areas. She also brushes it onto the edges of the bamboo ceramic light box to better define the profile. Using a soft cotton cloth, she blots up some paint from the palette and wipes it on the ceramic. This softens the brush strokes and gives the ceramic cane structure a hint of green. She sets the light casing on a revolving stand and inspects the coverage. She then applies a liberal amount of brown paint to the entire piece. And the brown color completely overpowers the green and yellow paints. She rubs off a lot of the brown paint. This tones it down and subtly brings out the other colors. This produces color variations that evoke the different tones of dried bamboo. The paint transforms the piece. After a protective clear coat has been applied, a technician inserts the socket and pulls the wires through one of the holes and out the back. He secures the socket in the light box from the back with a washer and nut. He turns the fixture upright and screws in the light bulb. And that completes this bamboo ceramic light fixture. Making it has taken roughly a week and the final result is very unique. So while providing illumination, it may also be an object of conversation. <laughs>